Hey friends, I'm gonna try to get out of the way of the fan. This is Daphne for your girl from the Speckled Cactus. Don't forget we got a text line open and if you have any questions, um, just let me know with our sale that is going on. Everything is going to be all natural makeup, okay? Not a lot of props to set for some of this bandaging that we're gonna do, plastic surgery. Give me a hashtag replay in case you guys are wondering what um inspired this number one Halloween's coming up number two well i mean is there really anything that i need to say other than we're having a halloween contest with unique so hello you got to do that um all right so we're gonna be doing i'd swap some of the order up but we're doing old plastic surgery pam today nothing against if you wear makeup or like you know a little extra something something this is no judgment we were just trying to figure out something fun to do that was creative um i almost got on too late because i was on a something called a baller call i love when my team trains us when us as leaders get to be rewarded for the things that we do i get so excited we get personal development and tonight was just fan freaking tastic y'all fantastic um it was just so nice to talk about how we get to choose to be who we want to be and we don't control anybody else we just can control us we're responsible for us and we're responsible to people for certain things like our bosses and things like that but they don't control how we make our lives happen and how to be grateful every day so i am just so so excited to get this look started for our natural makeup series thank you so much if you've just been coming on and you're a newbie give me a newbie or new kid if this is your first time watching give me a little cactus emoji if you share this out so i can enter you into the goodie giveaway all right so i think what we're gonna do is go ahead and put our primer on this is the second time today i know that i've been live i know y'all ain't used to that it's okay we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get through this together have fun with it let's put on our, our primer we'll just do more skincare after this right it's one thing i ever learned is you cannot hurt putting skincare on a second time unless you're doing something like dangerous we ain't doing any harsh or dangerous things here <laughs> All right, so, so looking good with this skin, too. I'm proud of my face today. All right, so we're going to put that serum on, lock it in with our setting spray. And we're going to put on just a little bit of some prime and set powder to make sure everything looks good. What I love about this, again, cute little look. Don't really have to do a lot for the eyelids today. It's mostly underneath, kind of like some bruising, if you will. If you recreate this look, please send it my way. I wanna see how it looks. I love when people recreate their looks. It is so fun. We need to, what do you guys think about one day recreating a look and doing a contest? And anybody who recreates will have people vote and then the most voted look will win something maybe like a makeup kit or something what do you think about that we're already doing a giveaway when my black friday starts in november which is next week on the first what would you be interested in for giveaways and goodies it's a good thing to kind of ask and wonder from the crowd because i love everything that's with unique but if you're thinking, you know, gift card of some kind with something specific, I am all ears, friends, as well. All right. We put our setting powder on. First things first, our eyebrows, okay? I mean, it's kind of like... It goes without saying. I don't know why I can't think today. I lost a nail already today. I must have been doing something hard for it. All right. Where are you? Let's put on a little bit of some eye primer up under the eye. Just a tiny bit. Since we're putting on eyeshadow under there. A little bit on top because we're going to neutralize that eyelid. Hey, how are you all? Say hey so I can see you and I know that you're on. Let me know if you can hear me loud and clear drop a um 
a sushi roll emoji. Just put sushi if you can hear me good to go. So I know you can hear me. Okay. I got my scalpel. I didn't have like a little injection thing, but that's okay. We'll use our scalpel. I have my um, gauze to wrap around. I don't have a band-aid, but we'll figure something out. I think I'm going to use like a little sticky thing right there. All right. Today, I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. Let's try it out, see how this is gonna go. We're gonna make some ferocious brows. I'm gonna go ahead and brush these suckers up. Do you guys remember like the fad back in like what? The 30s, the 20s, where they had like the pencil thin eyebrows. Do you feel like that's coming back? I kind of feel like that's coming back. I'm starting to see more and more people. Like, I see the really ferocious furry brows still in style, but I'm also seeing kind of like that. And then the pencil, pencil thin starting to come back. Do you think that's still a thing or do you think that's still in the past? I want to know your honest opinion. I don't think I will be a pencil thin girl anytime soon, but I will tell you. When I was in high school, I don't know if it was just because I plucked my eyebrows a lot or what was happening, but they were super thin, guys. I don't know what I was thinking back then. Do you ever feel like your eyebrows change personalities? <laughs> Mine did for sure. All right, I'm going to extend this brow just a little bit. Give it like a dramatic brow, sort of like what we were working on yesterday gonna make these extra swoopy so I'm gonna kind of round them out I don't know why I keep going towards these looks where the girls brows are like super extra I don't think I did that on purpose but it seems a little coincidental doesn't it all right so today is Wednesday right yeah so we have Thursday and Friday which will complete in addition to Saturday, complete our week for our natural makeup look. So all of these are not using Halloween makeup. If you miss any, go back and watch the replay later. Vote on which one is your favorite at the very end of the week so I can enter you into the giveaway. And then let me know if you would like me to do a makeup contest where you submit your looks in for you. I really want to encourage y'all to get out there and to explore. And I think it's really fun too. I, honest to God, would have never did this kind of stuff if the pandemic hadn't started. It's funny how a series of events will get you started on something that you never thought you would be here. Like never in my wildest dreams, not even growing up, did I think, oh, you know, I'm just gonna like put on makeup and get in front of a camera. Heck no. That was never, ever, ever in my wildest dreams. I, when I was probably in about third grade, was like, mm, I think I'm gonna be a writer and have like 10 cats. <laughs> no lie. That changed really quickly, but I was dedicated on that dream for a long time. I had my little Lisa Frank folders and I was like I'm gonna be an artist which I kind of you know I mean I mean this isn't tripping out I want to do now but like I just didn't think about this being in the artist realm so I mean technically we still are doing a little bit of it hey destiny how you doing girl all right for those who missed the picture let me go ahead and show you real quick this is kind of what we're using as our inspiration. It's probably not going to be like 100% the same, but, you know, similar. Okay. So there we go, friends. All right. What do you think? Should we go a little bit higher up on this brow? 
my best friends, especially two of them from high school are in Hawaii right now. I'm a little jealous. I'm not going to lie. I'm like, I needed to be in your suitcase. They were gone for like about a week. I think they come back tomorrow or the next day. I'm not sure. But I'm like dreaming of Hawaii right now. <laughs> I've been talking about creating a, a new vision board for the beginning of every year. And I never put one visually like in the tangible. I created it as like my screensaver for my phone so i look at that every day to remind me what my goals and dreams are do you guys do that i highly suggest you do it they say if you have something where you can look at it every day whether it's you know on a paper on a poster board on your phone that you're more likely to meet your goals because you see them every day what do you think about that do you do you agree hey how are you doing abby But my goal is to earn my incentive trip next year. I got some really good feedback from some of my team members about how they've done it in the past years. And I've never earned trips or anything like that through work. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before. But if I do that, it'll be my first time ever. And I honestly just want to earn like a trip for me and my husband to go on. Okay. We're going to try next year to go together to convention. So I'm kind of really excited about that. All right. Now that I kind of started like the dramatic brow, we're going to clean up underneath it with some, um, some concealer. I don't know why I'm starting to snot up y'all. Pray that I'm not be getting none of this. I have almost went the whole year without having bad sinuses. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to give my doctor all the credit. Now, I have taken Claritin before. And I know I'm jumping subjects, but y'all just join me where you can. Say, hey, I still cannot see comments. So, say, hey, let me know if you're on. Drop a, a, a sushi emoji if you can see this. Um, I'm also creating a color match quiz for any of my girls that have ever asked and want to know like sort of how to get feedback on the color. This one's a little orange for me. I can like balance between orange and pinks cause I'm neutral. Let's we'll see. But, um, what was I going with that? Oh, my doctor literally said this new doctor that I had for this year, I cannot say enough good things about him. I know sometimes, like, you probably think I complain about everything, but I swear this one, like, I have nothing bad to say about this doctor. He's amazing. Um, and he always has such helpful advice that he'll even give you, like, natural remedies to try before just trying to prescribe you on medication. Do you hear what I'm saying? Like, I like that about him. Um, I'm not holistics all the way, but I believe, like, you know, that's important. Hold on. I'm, I'm about to check this. Hold on. I don't think it's showing me all the comments. Okay, there we go. Um, but anyways, he was like, I have taken in the past, this is me, me talking first. I have taken in the past, um, Claritin, what's the other one? Zyrtec. And I don't know what it was about Claritin, but every time I used to take it, when I started coughing or getting the sinus issues, the sinuses is, um, I still got something on here is I would get like a little ball of just congestion in my chest. And I'm like, this stuff is not working. It's making it worse. It's making it worse. And, um, so I was like, forget it. Like, I don't want Claritin and Zyrtec was okay, but I still didn't feel like it was strong enough. Do you know what I mean? So I told him when I was going in for all the other lists of things that was wrong with me earlier this year. And I honestly believe that God has been healing me through exercise and just being mindful of my diet. I really think that is helping like manage my bladder a lot better. If you have never been to a pelvic floor therapist, I highly recommend it. They teach you how to build up your core and build up your pelvic muscles if you don't have a lot of movement in there. And that can happen from childbirth. It can happen from 
gaining weight, um, a little bit of everything. But women deal with it a lot more commonly than they than they realize, than even doctors realize. Um, and pelvic floor therapists are not very, very, very common. They're becoming more common, but they're still not like as common as like say a gynecologist. Okay, I'm just saying this is definitely a woman related conversation. <laughs> But he was like, back to unrelated with that part. He was like telling me, he was like, you need to get back on Claritin. He's like, I'll give you like what we call a baby dosage of Claritin. He said, take that every day. And he said, then at night, you want the big daddy. And I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, he's like, you know, your other doctor prescribed you Sudafed, but that obviously makes you tired in the day and you can't take that. And he said, take it at night. And anytime you feel like you're draining, I have my inhaler for um, when I get really congested and it breaks it up be before it causes bronchitis. And so between that and those little cocktail combinations, I'm telling you, like, I haven't hardly ever gotten sick. By now, I would have been wheezing so bad and been on my way to bronchitis. I remember every time Xavier, my youngest, he turns on November the 3rd seven years old ever since I have had him I've gotten like so sick around his birthday because of the fall just sinuses y'all do you see where you're not using any foundation this is how strong this concealer is <laughs> like I think that's all I'm gonna need um I'm just gonna kind of put it where I need to where I'm seeing a little bit of redness and just go with the rest go with the flow so it's Fingers crossed. Well, I've only had maybe one or two days. I've been kind of really congested. Not like weeks and weeks like I've dealt with before. So get yourself a good doctor. I'm not even playing. If something ain't working for you, even if you're like, it's as small as allergies and sinuses, I don't care. You need to be happy with your doctor. Jesus put him on earth for a reason, okay? Cindy, hey girl. I need to come and see y'all again one night. This is usually what I'm doing on a Friday night. So, you know, my good old antisocial self. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see, where's my little picture? Okay, let's do the purples and the pinks up under the eyes. This is what's really gonna start looking gruesome. So we're gonna do that first. Um, I'm gonna get me like a fluffy brush. We're just gonna go crazy to town with it. I hope this doesn't trigger anybody, I'm sorry. Um, let's see, purples, let's start off with pinks first and then we'll darken into purple. So I got a lot of pinks over here. We're just gonna use, pick out one, purpley pinks. And I'm just gonna kind of start rolling it under the eye instead of like over the eye. And the pink and the purple is gonna kind of give you that tired and like you got punched out look. Hey, Rayleigh. Y'all, for real, I need y'all to tell me if my comments are working. <laughs> I don't, I need one of y'all to say something because it is not showing me. I think something crazy is happening with Facebook. I like, I always tell y'all this, but I think something, I think there's a conspiracy going on. I'm not even kidding. Hear me out. So the conspiracy is that I did something to make Facebook mad yesterday when I was on my live. Hey, okay, I see you. Uh, Rayleigh broke the silence. Um, something happened yesterday. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I cannot go back into my video from last night. I don't know. I wasn't playing really any music. I didn't say any cuss words, not that I'm aware of. I don't think I said the K-I-L-L -L word. I don't think I said anything like that that would normally, you know, like stir up their community standards and put you in Facebook jail. But something happened because now... It's saying my live is still live, but it's letting me go live here. Like, does that even make any sense? No, it doesn't. I'm going to go all the way down to kind of right here, because that's sort of where her, her pink and purple goes. Eric! Eric, are you needing something from me? You trying to see when I get done? Okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure you ain't trying to tell me something. Sometimes Eric be doing that. This ain't the pretty look. 
This is the scary look. But anyways, so I had a friend like send me a message about this conspiracy I was talking about. I got distracted. I almost forgot what I was saying. And they're like, your video, you know, I can't go back and comment or say anything on it. I'm like, I know. I noticed that. I'm like, it, it still says something like video loading will be back in a minute or something like that. It has never stopped. And I sent them like a little Facebook, you know complain you know let me talk to your manager kind of thing no but I sent them like a little thing saying like hey like there's something wrong with this you know how Facebook is you could comment until you're blue in the face and nobody's gonna fix anything so I don't know why they even have like a help menu thing that one time I was like banned on Facebook for almost like a month and it was saying that I was using some kind of violence against community standards just some random some random time. I think it was around December. I was like, I didn't do anything. I mean, how violent can you be? I mean, the most violent I get is I'm just loud. Okay. All right, so we got that, like, pinkish purple look going on, right? Now we want to start uh, working on darker purples. So I'm going to kind of go into some browns. Maybe that shimmery purple might work. If y'all ever want, like, the name of any of these, just let me know. I'm going to post a list of what I used later, but we're just using everything that is mostly in stock or natural makeup. So, that's, like, sort of the rules to the game. And I'm going to try to make sure, like, these, what are they, pits, these bruises, whatever they are, are not, like, perfectly circular because, I mean... I don't think that's how they really work. When they're under your eyes, I've never got a bruise under my eyes. Has anybody else? I don't think I have. I've had plenty of knots on my head. <laughs> I'm chatty today. Ooh, apparently I can pull off a purple eye really good. I think this is because I've been trying to conceal these things for my whole life. <laughs> So I pretty much have it down. My the my natural, you know, self is like, oh, I remember these before you had skincare. Let's embrace it. That looks awful. Good God. I do not look good with purple eyes. How does this girl look cute with purple under her eyes? I don't know. That's it. It's all a conspiracy. All right. I'm going to go ahead and let's see what we got. Let's start with... I need a little tiny brush like this. And we're just going to take some of that purple and really like rim that under the eyes to deepen that part up. Me too, girl, especially when I'm in on days where, like, my kid crawls into the bed and I've already been up thinking all night. You know, y'all ever get to where you just can't turn your brain off at night? Usually, in the past, I used to be able to fall asleep, like, like, ain't no problems. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, lately, I don't know if it's just getting older or what it is, but it's harder to just fall asleep like that. I'm like this every mom now kind of carries this emblem. <laughs> it is for real. Life is just hard. If it ain't a job, it's family or something, right? All right. I'm going to use some setting spray. I'm going to use this little deluxe brush right here and drop more things. I'm just going to kind of pack this up under my eye. I'm going to clean like this part up in just a second, but I just need to like get into the spirit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to add a little bit of some blue up under there. Did 
So I feel like that's what makes it a little bit more purpley. If you have like a purple and you just really need it to kind of add a little bit more deepness to that, get the blue. Get the blue. Add it under there. Jesus. This is not look cute. I'm just saying. <laughs> We're going to have to put these eyelashes on and pray for the best when I get done. Y'all going to be like, oh, God. I'm going to go watch me some more of The Watcher. I'm going to be watching The Watcher. Oh, my gosh. Go watch some more Shit's Creek. I need to, I tried to tell my husband. I was like, you've got to watch this. And it's so funny. <laughs> it is hilarious. All right. We use a really puffy brush just to kind of like blend this a little bit maybe and I'm gonna put that band-aid over the top and that's gonna kind of help with it not looking like it's just all over my nose <laughs> I do look cute don't I <laughs> I'm like hey honey let's have a great night <laughs> y'all I scare myself so <laughs> bad while I'm doing these while I'm doing these looks I'm like I don't know should I be acting like I'm confident while I do this because I don't feel it right now. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad y'all you just got to go through it <laughs> until the end be committed with it pink right down here <laughs> oh lordy okay let's do I'm gonna add this little band-aid thing here I'm gonna add some blood my my son has like a horrible phobia of, well it's the word when you're afraid of the word blood I don't know. I don't know what that is. Alright. I don't have any cotton pads, so we're going to use something like this, I think. Yeah. Something to that nature. And we're going to add... Let's see. Is this sticky? You can tell I don't really put a lot of gauze or bandages on... I don't know if this is going to work. If not, I'll go get the regular Band-Aids out. Should I go to the post office just go and look in like this? It's not really that sticky. My daughter scared the crap out of me tonight because she's working on her Halloween costume. And I turn around and it's this thing with <laughs> black eyes. And so I was like, ah! <laughs> it scared me so bad. Alright, let's just kind of add it like right there. Let me see how this is going to work. Nope. Eric, I think I need a real band-aid. Hold on, let me go get a band-aid, y'all. tell you something like every time I go to the dollar store and I'll buy these little first aid kits to put in my in my uh, purse because somebody always cuts their self or hurts their self every time we go to the park or them just sitting in the vehicle I don't know why I have no idea and uh, so I buy these and then they magically all disappear let me cut this. I'm gonna have to make this smaller because 
If not, I'm gonna be having a big old honker there. Let's add it. Okay, 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 okay. Let me tell y'all about something embarrassing that happened to me. I think I talked about this live before. It was so freaking embarrassing, y'all. I was videoing uh, for a job that I was doing. And the guy made me laugh. And for y'all who don't know, I move my body around and my hands around when I talk. Okay? That's just what I do. Okay? And I think they call it like kinesthetic. It's like you feel things while you're talking and it creates the atmosphere. I don't know. It sounds fancy, right? Me just coming up with an excuse for that. Anyways, so I'm videoing this video. This man's getting me to laugh up in front of the store. It's at a freaking public store, y'all. And I go to laugh. Don't ask me why. But I go to laugh and I go down like this while I'm laughing. Okay? Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't even say I'd go fall, maybe, instead of actually laughing. Anyways, my silly self didn't pay attention to where my head went. And wouldn't you know, conveniently, there was this dang pole, like, right in front of me. Like, wouldn't you think if there was this concrete pole sticking up out of the ground, like, you would think not to laugh and lean forward? No. By the way, if you're Daphne, no, that's, that's not what happens. Okay? <laughs> so... Daphne hits her head right into a pole. I even think to this day that this is not all just wrinkles. This is just like a little dent in my skull from where I hit my head. <laughs> it hurt so bad. I literally had a split in my skin and it was bleeding. And I was so freaking embarrassed, of course. But I just played it off. My eyes literally just started pouring from the pain. Yeah. Yeah. It started pouring from the paint. I'm going to get some of this Splash Liquid Lipstick in Red Over Heels. And I'm just going to kind of lift this up a little bit. And like add some red there to look like it's bleeding. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I was so embarrassed. And he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. My pride was hurting worse. Even though it hurt pretty dang bad. But I was embarrassed. But you know what? Apparently, I made an impression. You know, I thought it may be not the best impression. But that man, I had to see him often when it, you know, the rest of that year. Because we worked with him being a part of our campaign. And he's like, this girl's amazing. She hit straight into a pole with her head. And she didn't even cry. I was like, I wanted to. <laughs> That's going to have to go over my dang nose ring, too. Okay, there we go. Have a little bit coming out here. Ooh, that's pretty. We're going to have to clean that later, aren't we? I'm trying to make it stick, but it doesn't want to stick, y'all. Okay. Let's add a little bit of some black. Like, just a tiny bit to kind of darken up this area. Or brown. I'll just do brown. What do I need? I gotta do this. Gotta think about it for a second. Here we go. I'm gonna use that small brush and kind of be a little bit more strategic about how I'm placing this because I'm gonna get it all over my dang nose if I don't. Do 
just enough to kind of peek out where it's like it looks like it's clearly bleeding you know what I'm saying all right and then add a little bit of this fairy bowl it's a little bit darker That's enough. Like, like, I don't need to have a really, really bloody nose, okay? Alright, let's hurry this up because I don't know how long these band-aids can hold on this makeup. Alright, we're going to add... I think we can go back with Purple Vein again. What do you think? I like that color. Stay on. Oh, I know what we can do. Hold on. I'm going to add a little bit of this lash glue. I want to hear so it'll stick a little bit. And it comes off really easily, but that's going to be one way to get this sucker to stay on since it's not wanting to stay on my face gonna let that dry for a second and we'll just stick it on if it will go let's see this is glitter primer maybe a little bit of that too never had such a dang hard time keeping bandages over my nose but then again I've never put a band-aid over my nose so yeah this is really fun all right I think it's gonna stay fingers crossed all right hopefully I don't sweat too much stay on there honey all right I'm gonna use just a little bit maybe of some bronzer put on my nose you better stay on I ain't even playing with you right now and we're just gonna apply this sort of like to darken up this little area just a little bit, just to add a little bit of some contrast there. It's hard being plastic surgery. If you guys have ever had surgery, and I'm not talking about like just plastic surgery, I'm just talking about surgery in general. What was it? And was it like when you were a kid? Was it recently? How many surgeries have you had to have? If you feel like sharing. Okay. Next. I need to um, fix my lips. Because I stopped there. I got distracted. I'm blushing. That's not it. Dirty chai, that's not it. No. What did I just do with that? Here we go. Alright, we're gonna take a little bit. And I'm just gonna kinda fill up those lips a little bit because it's not going to look like plastic surgery if we don't amp these up a little.
So we're just gonna kind of make ourselves have a little bit bigger lips than we usually do. Stay on. You can do it. Let's do a little bit of some concealer. Just a small amount, like tiny, tiny bit. Lines and lashes. Let's do lines first. This is going to be easy because all I'm going to use is basically some liner, right? So we're just going to do stuff like, let me see if I can get it. One, two. I need a mirror, right? What do you mean it looks, oh, like this? For real? Oh my God. I've had a spot removed off of my back. And they had to like pinch it together, right? And it took several, several weeks for them to fall out. How long? You said for like a week? Look, if we get trolls on here, it's probably because they're going to see how goofy I'm looking right now. It's okay. If they just start going crazy, just go with the flow. Because the last time I did like a gypsy look or whatever, they did that. Okay. And then she had like some arrows going up here. And like one right over here. one time it was like two two years ago I think almost it was like this couch gang and I never knew it was such a thing but it was like a group and they would go find Facebook lives and ask like if you had a shoe to put on your head I don't know what the crap that was about but they were like asking about couches for sale and all kinds of weird stuff get on there I cannot keep apparently a band-aid on. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just add some more little X's. I have to look in a mirror while I'm doing this, as you can tell. Clearly, even like X's, I can't do straight. <laughs> on one side, oh my gosh, that sounds horrible. Did it hurt pretty bad? Or did it just look worse than what it felt like? Okay. Do a couple more X's right here. Do the nasal labial marks. I don't feel like you can see that one, right? It looked worse than what it felt like. Hey, Phyllis. I'm trying to make these thicker so you can actually see them more. I don't want it to look like, all like, like one line. Alright, an arrow goes right here. 
and right here and see you don't have to be perfect on this because obviously we're trying to make it look bad right that's what I like about these like it does not have to be perfect it's supposed to look like you know something's gone wrong all right do the chin and then arrows is that you blowing your nose happening <laughs> all right hold on let me go ahead and get this air in. All right, there we go kind of did all the little marks right and then come on stay on there we're doing our best here Okay, let's do our lashes last. And do this around the neck. Tuck it in. You look like Mary, almost, like, the way this <laughs> is going. Okay, and let's do our lashes, and then we'll be done. If I don't find out where I put everything. Alright, let's put our lipstick back. And clean up. You sound so stopped up, boo! You go in here. Okay, there we go. Let's put our lashes on. I found you in this pile. These are going to be some really long lashes, too. Let's see how these are going to go. We might be able to do it without cutting them. These are going to be pretty long, though. recommendations on band-aids that actually stay because I have a feeling one of these days in real life I'm going to need this it's probably going to be my son headbutting me or something like that and then I'll be like oh those were the band-aids that stayed on even if you sweat all right so I'm gonna let that one dry Okay, next one on the docket, and we're gonna do this one. <laughs> Y'all, seriously, if you didn't watch my live from earlier today, you've got to get them silky pajamas. If you like silky feeling, it was the best feeling pajamas ever from Amazon. And they have all kinds of cute colors, including those red color ones I was using. It's true to size, so keep that in mind. Sometimes I have like trust issues with clothing that you get from Amazon or online because you don't know how it's really going to fit. But I looked at the reviews. They have high reviews. If you want the link, let me know to say pajamas and I'll send it to you. It's like I need them in all colors now. I'm like addicted. And they're shorts. They're shorts pajamas and just the little button down with the lapel. All right, I'm gonna kind of bend these a little bit while I'm letting them dry because that's one of the things I noticed. They try to lay flat when I put them on. So bend that one. Let's get the other one. Try not to scratch my head here. It itches like I don't know what.
right, let's see if we can get this on yet. Go we'll see. Where are you? My little applicator. Probably not anywhere I actually can find you at this moment. might not be dry enough. We're about to find out. I can hear that wind howling outside. Okay. I'm gonna pinch it. Pinch it. Usually, the professionals at this can just, like, put it on there with some tweezers and go. I don't think I'm at that level yet, but we're getting more comfortable with them. That's why I kind of like the magnetic a little bit easier because you don't have to put it right on your lashes. It's a learning curve for me. Having to put them on your lashes. Okay. Let's see if I can squeeze this together. There's a little hack here. It's either gonna work or not gonna work. <laughs> okay, there we go. We gave this one a little bit more time to dry, so let's see if that actually helped. You guys feel like you do well with fake lashes yes or no I like to squeeze them with my regular lashes just to make sure like they're bonding well all right I think that one is fine yeah all right so I'm gonna do a little bit of lip gloss and be done with the day. All right, that's gonna be our final look. Let me know if you think we did good enough for this messy of a look. Or would you have changed it up any? The band-aids, you know, they're they're like a clear band-aid. So that kind of takes up a little bit more of like that purple that I wanted it to. But if you ever want to go back and paint over it, I'm sure it will work. You can just kind of slightly go back over it. You know what I'm saying? And just kind of do that a little bit. <laughs> Thanks, Cindy. You're so sweet. And it kind of can smush it down a little bit while you do that. <laughs> all right, I feel like I'm the weekend's wife. What do y'all think? Remember when he would get all like plastic surgery and have himself like wrapped up for the game, the football game and stuff? I feel like I'm his wife. <laughs> All right, so I love y'all. Have a fantastic day. Don't forget to come with me tomorrow. If nothing changes, I don't suspect that it will. I think tomorrow we're around. It'll either be, it'll, I'm going to, fingers crossed, hope for it to be in by around 11. If I don't get it done by 11, it'll be around the same time. We're going with the 1920s flapper doll doll. And I'll talk to you guys later.